Thank you, Mr. President. You've said uh, that reducing the deficit will require shared sacrifice. Uh, we know uh, we have an idea of the taxes that you would like to see raised on corporations and on Americans in the top two tax, tax brackets, but we don't yet know what you specifically are willing to do when it comes to entitlement spending. In the interest of, of transparency, leadership, and offering also showing the American people that you have been negotiating in good faith, mm -hmm. can you tell us one structural reform that you are willing to make to one of these entitlement programs that would have a major impact on the deficit? Would you be willing to raise the retirement age? Would you be willing to means test Social Security or Medicare? We've said that we are willing to look at all those approaches. I've laid out some criteria in terms of what would be acceptable. So, for example, uh, I've said very clearly that uh, we should make sure that current beneficiaries, as much as possible, are not affected. But we should look at what can we do in the out years so that over time some of these programs are more sustainable. Uh, I've said that uh, means testing on Medicare, meaning people like myself, if uh, you know, I'm going to be turning 50 uh, in a week, uh, so uh, I'm, I'm starting to think a, a little bit more about uh, uh, Medicare eligibility. Um, they, they, yeah, I, I'm going to get my AARP card soon um, and the discounts. Um, but the, the uh, you know, you, you can envision a situation where, uh, for somebody in my position, uh, me having to pay a little bit more. Uh, on premiums or co-pays or things like that uh, would be appropriate. And again, that could make a difference. So uh, we've been very clear about where we're willing to go. What we're not willing to do is to restructure the program uh, in the ways that uh, we've seen uh, coming out of the House uh, over the last uh, several months, where we would voucherize the program and you potentially have senior citizens paying $6,000 more. Uh, the, I view Social Security and Medicare as the most important social safety nets that we have. I think it is important for them to remain as social insurance programs that give people some certainty and reliability in their golden years. Uh, but it turns out that making some modest modifications in those entitlements can save you trillions of dollars. Uh, it, it, and it, it's not necessary to completely revamp the program. What is necessary is to say, you know, how do we uh, make some modifications, including, by the way, on the provider side. 